One thing that I've noticed is that I always start like a vlog from a vehicle. I'm always vlogging from my trucks. That's because I do a lot of driving now, I guess. Um, anyway guys, hi, good morning, what's up? Man, first of all, you guys are dirty. I apologize. All right, that's a little better. Um, so what I want to say, I turned the camera on to say something. Oh yes, I'm sweaty, number one. I'm at my old place of business uh, getting their scrap metal, which is also cool, even though scrap's down to two cents a pound, or at least it was the last time I did it. And I'm dropping off um, hazardous stuff, taking care of the environment the way that it should be, doing everything legitly. I was gonna make a rhyme, but I'm not that good at that. Just wanna let you guys know what I was doing. I think it's gonna be a short vlog today. I think that's what I'm going for. Tomorrow's gonna be chuck full. Tomorrow's gonna be an awesome vlog. Today, just kinda of chilling, riding the tides, just coasting along. There's two reasons, oh wow, that stinks. <laughs> I just opened up a propane tank because you have to have them like cut or whatever in order to scrap them. Um, obviously, you can't scrap a propane tank that doesn't have holes in it because <laughs> when it goes in the incinerator. Anyway, the reason why I'm handling the scrap right now today is because I gotta empty out the back of the truck. I gotta get this emptied out because I gotta get storage. I gotta get, man, if you can say that like 10 times fast, it'd be awesome. Gotta get, gotta get, gotta get. I gotta get it storage. It's <laughs> funny. Um, because I gotta get the cot. <laughs> because I have to get the coffee table so that uh, Monday we can do the, uh, the live broadcast for the, um, for the Psycho movie that we're doing at 6 p.m. So make sure to follow us on you now forward slash Halloween Hellmouth um, for that. But yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm scrapping. I'm about ready to head down and get my whole two cents a pound. Better be good, guys. That right there is an undercover officer. Do you see that? As I inch closer to the vehicle in front of me trying to film it. Remember, allow one car length for every 10 miles per hour that you are traveling. Yep, I'm an automotive technician, and yep, check engine lights on in this vehicle too. Just like my daily driver, I don't want to have to fix this one either. <laughs> Pellets! Aluminum! This is always so cool, guys. It's like big machines. Rawr. Big machines. Rawr. Like I said before, this is just like going to the dump. Only this time you can get stuff in your tires. It makes your <laughs> makes your tires go flat. That's just I hate that. Never happened before. First time for everything. I'm not sure if you guys know it or not, but every time I drop off a load of scrap and I get paid, I also fill the fuel tank um, just because you know that's what helps keeps the the gas tank full. So after scrap today, that huge load that I had, this is what is left after I fill the tank. All that freaking work, all day long, $10. That's how low scrap is right now. It sucks. How many of you guys still do this? Do you guys still roll coins? <laughs> or do you like go down to like the coin star and just throw them in and, and pay money, your money, that you've collected to have them do that? I, I don't know. I have a problem with that. But I haven't rolled coins in like a long time. So, <laughs> now what? <laughs> Where do I bring them? Because... My bank is actually a credit union and they don't accept cash there. And I really don't think those will fit too well into an ATM. Hmm. I've been saving coins for many years. That's not that much considering how long I've been saving this stuff. So I've got a nice mow on the backyard. Basically doing home maintenance right now because as I wipe my dirty face on my arm, my dirty arm, ew. I've been working hard today. Shh. Don't don't say no. don't judge me. Um, we're having a party tomorrow night. We're having a party. Um, a small party, more like a gathering of a few uh, haunter friends um, at a campfire tomorrow. Kind of like the last hoorah of the season, which I think we've already had like one of those, but we're having another one. So I'm doing that, and I'm mowing the front yard. Going to move the castle. Got some scrap over here that I should take care of tonight, but I probably won't get to because you guys know how I get things done, my projects. Oh man, I got roof stuff to do. Get the moss off the corner right there. Up there's the anti-moss strip that I need to put back on the other side because I didn't want to nail it down, so I just tucked it underneath my shingles. I have a brand new roof. I'm not putting holes in it. So I gotta go reattach that before the whole thing blows off. Yeah, homeowner stuff. Yeah, scary. Being a homeowner is scary. Seriously. 
in an attempt to try and keep today's vlog short so I have less editing to do tonight um, because I am seeing my boy tomorrow. Um, although um, I won't be able to film him. More about that later, maybe. i just letting you guys know. So, um, Psycho, right here. Monday, 6 p.m. Pacific. You guys need to go to uh, younow.com forward slash Halloween Hellmouth. Make sure that you follow us. Watch with your own copy. We'll sync up and you can watch the fun over here and we can comment on your guys' comments while we're all watching the movie together. It's a test. I don't know what's going to happen. The other thing is, what did I do with my phone? Man. A lot of people think that I'm like connected to my phone all the time, like it's part of me, which it kind of is, but I lose it. Just like my head, which is actually attached to me. Ooh, spooky. And I lose that too. And I need the Mad Libs. Okay, my point right now is that uh, we're just about ready to go live on Periscope, so you need to follow us there too. And we're going to do some more Halloween Haunted Mad Libs because it's just freaking awesome. So... This is going to be for the contest, so here are the cards, right here, and there's the Grand Pumba of all cards back behind it. Like I said last night, you guys need to follow us because the contest is happening right now, and by the time you see it, it's over. And I'll probably do another one, but the way this works is you have to follow us on Periscope, and while you're watching, you have to be the one that does the most hearts, and we're going to draw seven people that give the most hearts, and then we will announce them on the vlog tomorrow. They will be the winners. Give me your address. You will have a week to give me your address if you win, and I will send you guys out a card. That's a problem that I have with contests, is getting people to recognize <laughs> that they've been a winner, or that they are a winner, and then follow through with giving, giving me their address so that I can get everything done in a quick amount of time. What I'm doing right now is I am vlogging. This is what it looks like when Troy vlogs. You guys see this? <laughs> so, and, and I'm, I'm screwing up the vlog time continuum right now. So, we are on Periscope, so everybody can say hi. There we go, it's focusing, awesome, awesome, woohoo! Yes, all of you guys are being vlogged right now. <laughs> In including Crystal645. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm giving everybody like about another 10 seconds to get in their hearts, and then right after we're done with this broadcast, I'm going to turn it over to you guys, and I'm going to let you guys, well, and you guys, God, now I'm confused, uh, know uh, who the winner is of this card and these cards over here. I will see you guys on the vlog tomorrow. Thank you for this awesome session of Mad Libs, and we'll be out in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, <laughs> 1. All right, happy haunting, guys. See you on the vlog. Um, I've got to go and figure out, out of all these people, um, who won, came in first, second, third, and fourth. Give me a little while to do that, and I'll post the results in, well, in the next clip. This is the power of editing right now. The results have been tallied. The winner, the Grand Pumba. Is that right? I'm, no, I'm saying that wrong. Boomba? No, Pumba. Pumba's right. It just reminds me of the Lion King. I don't know. Anyway, Barb, 8,092 hearts. Um, followed by Adam S, MSM Michael, Bubba, Count Van Abitstein, Tony Fredrickson, and Shay. There are two runners up. I'm not going to name the names. If any of you guys do not claim your card um, in the week, I'm actually going to award it to these two people. I might actually go out. Okay, the next two people, Crystal Sherman and Robert O'Brien are the runners up. So if somebody else doesn't claim their card in a week, they will get it. If not, then I'll probably g give me your addresses too. I'll send everybody something. That's just the type of guy I am. You guys participated. You're awesome. You're Hellions. I love you guys. So there you go. There's the results of the contest. Awesome. Okay, now I can breathe for a second. Shut the front door. What? Seriously? Oh my gosh. All right. So I just opened up the card for the winners because I hadn't opened it up yet. And, you know, it gives you this right here. It gives you the saying on the card. But what it didn't give me was this. It actually says, happy frickin' haunting. Well, it doesn't say happy frickin' haunting, but you guys get the gist of it. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Yeah, so I've got like some Halloween stamps. You guys remember some of the stamps I got. I'm gonna do some Halloween stamps in these. And uh, Halloween's not here yet, so I might do this again. This is kind of a, I don't wanna say a cheap way, but this is kind of a way for me to help give back to you guys 
and I know it's kind of random and whatever, but you know, I, I you guys do so much for me, I'd like to do something for you too. So this this is kind of my way of saying thank you. Ladies and ghouls, it is time for COC, which is cock for short, kind of, I guess. Commenting on comments, that's what we're talking about. Jeremy Trumbull, we named our GPS Edna, which stands for Electronic Device Navigation Assistance. Did you come up with that by yourself? That's pretty ingenious. Underworld Haunted House, next time Phoenix comes over, you all should make the train. Um, actually, I'm going to wait on that just a little bit because it's really messy and he's only two and a half. So I'm going to wait just a little bit. I just realized that there are 26 comments. Oh my gosh. The winner tonight, that Barb girl, 2400 hearts, and this is last night. Woohoo! The trick is to multitask. Just tap away while you're watching Periscope. It's kind of like chewing gum and walking or patting your head and rubbing your stomach. Whew. Emerald Gypsy Heart, I almost felt the same way. You say, damn, ew, another social app. Why, oh why? I know, I'm kind of the same way. Although I don't use, uh, I haven't used, uh, what is it? it? Starts with a V. Vine, I haven't used Vine for like freaking ever. Corey Johnson, number one, where did you get the skeletal cat? I got it from Big Lots. Number two, have you done a video on your corpsing process? Kind of, it was like two years ago when I did the skeletons out front. It's there, you gotta look for it. It was not a separate tutorial. And number three, what is the best homemade prop haunt scene that you feel has been your best work from the very beginning of your haunting career up to this year? I haven't talked about this before, but like in 2000, let's see, seven, eight, nine, 2009? I did a haunt to where I actually brought dirt into the carport when I only did the carport and I put it down and I made mounds of, um, you know, like graves and I had the gravestones on there and I had a, uh, a tombstone uh, popper thing and that's the year that my dad had a bat that he would stand behind the plastic and he would release the bat and it would like shoo, fly over the people's heads. I, I liked that because I felt it was extremely Disney-ish. Oh, Nicole Mitchell, I always feel left out with things like Periscope and Snapchat because I don't have a smartphone. Oh, sorry. Dabbit 353, so just in case you were wondering, it's only 409 days until the show goes on again for next year. That's right. Steve Lewis, man, I do like your new coffee machine. Any chance of a closer look in the next vlog? Um, no, actually, I think I want to keep that to myself. Uh, that's kind of weird, dude. <laughs> Judd Ware, your dinner, does it rhyme with pizza? Yes, it did. And finally, last comment of the night, the BDL Express going to Zombie Fest tomorrow, which is actually today, Saturday, near where I live. Want to come? Aw, thank you, but I, I've got this really cool little boy coming over, and we're going to have some fun, and Grandma and Grandpa are going to come over, we're going to have some more fun, and I'm sorry, guys, I can't film it, can't talk about it. Um... And uh, then after that, we're going to have a bunch of haunters come over. So that's going to be really awesome. So, all right, that's it, guys. I got to get to bed. Happy haunting. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha! Did you like what you saw? Oh, you did? Oh, go ahead and subscribe.